How's it going everybody? I hope you're doing well. Right, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a jam tart. Yes indeed. And it's got a, a very special place in my heart, has this jam tart. Because it's something my nan used to make way back when, when I was knee high to a grasshopper. She was always in the kitchen uh, cooking and baking, a bit like me really now. And um, she used to make this jam tart. Now there was two ways she used to do them. She would either have the flan and pieces of pastry to mark out the segments of the jam tart or she'll do a thin layer of pastry, uh, short, crust, uh, short crust pastry over the top and that's the one we're going to do today. So what will you need? Of course you'll need a cake tin like so which I'm going to lightly butter pop that over there, some sugar, some cinnamon, of course jam, it doesn't have to be strawberry jam by the way folks, I mean you could, you know, whatever jam that you, uh, you prefer, it's totally up to you, you are the master of your tart, so to speak, <laughs> uh, flour, milk and butter, okay, just push that back, I always keep things simple, you know me when it comes to measuring. So, in here, flour. I have a pint and a half of flour, to which I'm going to add a quarter of a pint of sugar, like so. Next, I'm going to add about two teaspoons of cinnamon, like so. Next, the butter. So get yourself a dessert spoon and you're going to do one heaped, I mean look at that, get the idea and pop that in there like so. Okay there's no eggs for this recipe so don't worry about that. Now this is when it's going to get messy because what I'm going to do is crush it all up a bit like if you was going to make an apple crumble that sort of uh, deal and then after I've got it all mixed up I'm going to slowly add the milk until we make a nice dry dough so let's get that started I shan't bore you completely but just to give you the idea of what I do so I'm just gonna squash that together and then sort of crumble it up yeah incredibly messy but fun to do so I'm just gonna keep that going until I get nice breadcrumbs in the bottom of that bowl so I just squeeze it in between your hands and as you can see already we're getting nice breadcrumbs so I'm going to carry on doing that and then we'll get to the next stage of actually making that dough. It's fun this is. <laughs> right then. I'll finish that off and we'll get to the next stage. In a blink of an eye I am back and as you can see I've got some nice fine breadcrumbs in there. Everything's nice and mixed together. Lovely. I've also put a bit of butter here put a bit of butter in the pan like so right then next make a little trough little hell in the bottom of there to which we'll add our milk now I'm using skim milk you can use whole milk if you wish it is absolutely no problem whatsoever I shall not be coming round your house and shouting obscenities through the letterbox Unless you want me to, of course. So I'm just going to put just a drop of milk in there and fold it in. This is when it gets a little bit messy again. But that's the fun bit, you see. That's the fun bit. And what I want to do is make a nice dry dough.
So that's why you add the milk just a little bit at a time. And get all that flour mixture around the edges. Doesn't take too long to do until you get a nice dough, which is easy to roll out because that's what we're going to do next. Have you got one of them? No? Have you got a glass bottle or something? No? We well, need something because we're going to roll it out. So, I will finish doing this. And we'll get to uh, get to rolling. Nice and messy. I think that's probably why I enjoyed it when I was a kid, you know, doing that sort of, you know, helping out. But I was also learning a skill. And I think that's, you know, probably a lot of things that are missing today. You know, getting kids involved in doing stuff like this, you know, cooking and the basics that they will need. You know, it just... Yeah, because it's fun, and it you know the learning the skill, and there you go. Right then, I'll finish this up, and then we'll get to uh, rolling it out. So, when you have poked and prodded and prodded and poked and pushed, you'll get something like that. If you haven't, and it's green or it's purple or it's moving across the counter on its own like that then you've done something terribly wrong so let's roll it out so get some flour do make sure your counter's clean by the way ladies and gentlemen pop a bit of flour down and we'll start to roll it out right then here we go Just roll it all out. Doesn't take that long to do. It will crumble slightly at the edges. That's because there's no egg in it, you see. It's perfectly normal. <laughs> Unlike me. <laughs> there you go. So basically what you want to do is just enough for that uh, flan base cake base flan base call it what you will okay lovely so make it easy flip it over now I'm not going to cut flush to the edge of that tin I'm going to cut just in front of it because when I turn it over and I put the lid on the pastry lid that is I'm going to fold those edges over and just crimp them but we'll come to that so just in front just give yourself enough space around Like so and take away that because that will be our lid and what we'll do is turn that over in fact in fact no not going to do it for me never mind I thought I was going to pick the whole lot up but that's not going to happen So we'll do it this way instead. And pop that in. Like that, and bring it round on the edges. I 
could do with a little bit more on there just on that one side see doesn't always go to plan doesn't always you can't be perfect there we go easy as that talk amongst yourselves by the way folks <laughs> oh dear I do enjoy this it is fun right okay there is your base da da right then whilst I'm here before I start doing the jam I'll just roll out the uh, the lid now you don't have to be completely accurate with it you just roll it out as much as you can because you're just going to lay it straight over the top and just gently press down so just roll it out as long as you've got enough pastry to do it and you will have if you followed my steps <laughs> There we go. Yeah, I say my uh, my nan was always baking. Any time you went round, she'd be in the kitchen baking, doing something, or she'd be or she'd be doing a um, a crossword puzzle. <laughs> that was another one. Yeah, baking and crosswords puzzles. I'm not one for crossword puzzles, but I do enjoy baking and cooking and that sort of stuff, as you well know. <laughs> That'll be fine for the area that I need to cover, as you can see. I'll do it easy. Right, so I'll just pop that to the side there. And we'll get our jam. So this is one video I can do all in one, all in one take. So get your jam. As I say, it doesn't have to be strawberry. It can be whatever jam you like. So... use this one up I have got another one but before I open a new one I'll use this one up here we go and just spread that out to the bottom of there. I'll tell you what folks, this doesn't half bring back some memories. Wow. <laughs> doesn't it just? Okay. That's more than enough. Fantastic. Okay, let's pop the lid back on that. And pop that spoon over there like so right then get your top and pop your top and just gently press down into the edges it doesn't have to be fantastically perfect and you have got some leeway and some extra pastry should you need it so I'm just going to cut away on there like that and cut away on that one like so and just tidy it up push it down and create that seal around the edge Like so. It's good in it. <laughs> and there you have it. 
Now you could sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top if you wanted to, but I think there's enough sugar in there already. A little bit of uh, scrap pastry there, but don't worry about it. But you know what I mean? Not far off. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, back to business. This is going to go in the oven now, uh, 200 degrees, which I believe is about gas mark 7, uh, for about 40 minutes. Uh, keep checking on it. Every now and then, say every 15 minutes. Just have a quick look till it's nice and golden brown. And then we should be good to go. So, that's going to go in the oven. Okay, so, that's been in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. Gas mark 7 or 200 degrees C, just over 200. But when you're taking it out of the oven, do let it rest for at least half an hour to 45 minutes. Because if you try to cut it before then, uh, you've got red hot jam in there and it'll just be like liquid and you'll spoil it. You've done all that hard work just to trip up at that last hurdle. So just leave it for 30 to 45 minutes just to let it cool down. So, let's cut a slice. How big a slice do you want? <laughs> there we go. Should have chose a better knife to do this with really. Tell you what. Take it out. Come on, you know you want to. There you go. <laughs> Lovely. So, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Better still, click subscribe, it would mean the world to me, and I will catch you on the next video.